Hope you like defense as we count down Elliot Harrison's top five Giants of all time, starting off with a linebacker, a guy who made seven straight Pro Bowls, Harry Carson. You bet, Harry Carson. Whenever I think of the New York Giants, I just have to think of number 53. I think longtime Giants fans might argue this one with me. They might put him a little bit lower than five, but Harry Carson was such a good player. When I was a kid, every year I'd look at the football card and it would say Pro Bowl across Harry Carson's <laughs> card. First guy to really start doing that too, dumping the old Gatorade a bottle or, what was that, a jug, a bottle? Or, I don't even yeah, know what well, you call it. We well, did it on Bill Parcells. That's what I do know. And he was a great player. All right, do you know the correct pronunciation of number four's last name? Emlyn Tunnell, but I've heard him called huh? Emlyn Tunnel there a billion go. times. Either way, he was a great, great player and one of the best all time, irrespective of franchise. 79 interceptions, marking an era where they played 12 games. He had 79 interceptions. I mean, you look at his stats, literally every year is like eight, seven, six, 10 interceptions. Vince Lombardi took him the original ball, ball yeah. hawk. Yeah, he really was. He really was first African-American player in the Pro Football Hall of Fame, first African-American player for the New York Giants. Let's stick with the defensive theme as we look at you, the guy you have at number three. And it's hard to escape him because he's everywhere on TV, an amazing broadcasting career. Maybe he'll be in the Broadcasting Hall of Fame someday, but he's in the Football Hall of Fame as well. Yeah, Michael Strahan, Strahan it's hard to know what to do with him. And what I mean by that is he's a Hall of Fame player. He has a sack record. But he's so famous for other things now, it's hard to say, okay, am I putting him this high because he's famous? You know what? I saw him dominate a game against the St. Louis Rams, greatest show on turf, like I've never seen a defender dominate a game before. And of course, his last game as a pro in the Super Bowl, he was part of that win. Number two, never missed a game in 15 seasons, a tremendous accomplishment for Mel Hyde. Yeah, Mel Hyde. Going both ways too, center and linebacker. And that's why he's on this list. And look, I realize a lot of people say, hey, how can you pick a guy from this era? I mean, he couldn't play now. Well, you don't know that because he played center and he played linebacker without the benefit of all the strength training and all the nutrition that we have today. But the New York Giants have been around since the 1920s. You can't ignore their first 30 years of existence when they played in several championship games. At number one, is he the number one defender of all time, Lawrence Taylor? I think he is. I think he is. Watching him as a kid, watching him now as an analyst covering the game. Lawrence Taylor is a big reason why I'm doing this job. I love defense. I'm not saying a lot. Growing up, absolutely. I loved watching defense. Well, I grew up in Dallas. They played the Giants twice a year. I saw this guy wreck Phil Posderick and hit Danny White and Steve Palluer more times than I care to remember. Lawrence Taylor, the last defensive player to win league MVP. That was 1986, Mark. He deserved it. He was, he was the best player on the field when he walked on the field. What more do you need to say? There you go. Number one for the Giants as we take a look back at the top five. Harry Carson, Emlyn Tunnell, Michael Strahan, Mel Heim, and LT. You're counting down all 32 teams. Their top five this offseason. You can see them here. This one was tough. This one was tough. But an easy number one. I love it. Yes.